Welcome back to The Witcher 3. I'm Shox, and now we are on our way to figure out what this wraith around the well here is and what we can do against it. Let's see. Find evidence of the spirit's presence. What can we see here? So there are marks Grass here. around the well scorched. So we have scorched grass. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a noon wraith. So it looks like we have to fight a noon wraith. Let's see what that means. What is a noon wraith? Noon ring. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do it to avoid noon wraiths. On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, wraiths will at times appear resembling sun scourged women dressed in long white robes. These are noon wraiths. The spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the fields searching for their unfaith unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. Noon wraiths are only known to haunt rural areas and usually stay near the place of their deaths. They prey on peasants working in the fields or ch children playing nearby. Noon wraiths do not bleed and are for the most part immune to the effects of witcher signs. They can create mirror images of themselves, which circle their victims in a kind of morbid parody of dance. This ghastly ritual drains their victims' life energy while adding to their own strength. Noon wraiths are also able to manipulate the physical world to a limited degree, kicking up clouds of dust which temporarily blind and disorient their opponents. Noon wraiths can turn immaterial and are at such times very difficult to wound. In order to force a noon wraith to take corporeal form, one must first trap it with the Urdan sign or strike it with a moon dust bomb. Once the monster has regained physical presence, one can mount a fast attack with a silver blade preferably one coated in spectre oil. Contrary to popular belief, noon wraiths can also be encountered at night, but are much weaker than, than during the day. So ideally, we uh, will encounter them at night and see if we even know about this spectre oil. So what will we need? We need a Rinaria for this spectre oil. It gives us 10% attack power versus spectres. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. And we An also object, something she needs before she'll leave this world. Should try to maybe uh, like summon her during the night in case we actually have to fight her. Let's see what is in here. I don't think anybody will need these things anymore. Can we loot those? No. There's nothing in there anymore. Or maybe everything that was in there is already rotten. Can't take the tools. There's something in here. And there's someone dead. A man, here. stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Hmm. Was this his wife? Is, is she the wraith? Broken rake. Oh, can we open this too? No, it was in there. Let's see what the book says. Yellow diary. The journal might be useful. Let's see what was written in the journal. It's happened. 
Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court of Vizima. List all the harm he's done to us. I killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. I trampled our fields when drunk with Nairi, a thought of repayment. I barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what we begged Militile for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. All right, we are back. The game seems to be bugged as it stops responding to any input as soon as I open the journal. So, um, basically the story is, as far as, you know, I've, I've <clears throat> read that that Lord just killed the husband and, and took her or, or dragged her out track the wife out and and she's probably the, the wraith that we have to encounter and maybe fight i mean they were uh talking about finding what it is that keeps her in this world and maybe we, we can just give it to her and she will disappear or basically talk her out of of harming more people just you know to disappear and go somewhere else but we'll see about that let's uh see if there's anything in there that we can collect doesn't look like it so let's try to go to the well and see what happens when we go there let's save just in case the game is acting up again or i just simply die which I tend to do. All right. Oh, read about the new race in the beast journey. Right, that was. That. Something's tied the new wraith to this place, an object, something she needs oh, before she leave this world. Right. Journal I found in the abandoned hut. Could be the key to Let's this story. See. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was so dragged maybe this we just way. Have to follow Someone who was the still blood alive. Stains. Um, to like get to her corpse or something. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. Interesting. Another print by the well. Let's see if we can find her body and maybe figure out what happened to her. Or like, well, we, we kind of know what happened to stray her. Too far from the well. There's more. Um, oh, did they just toss her into the well? Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. Corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Hmm. Arm fell away. Additional weight? Was she wearing something heavy? Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Yay! Very good idea to jump down into the well. Can we just use the rope that is here? No. 
Oh wow, read the diary from the ruined house. Yeah, that will break the game. Great. Oh wow. First, let's get out of the water and see what our witch sense is saying. There's something down there. I think the the arm is down there. I don't see or hear any enemies. Let's see what we can find here. Just some ingredients. Nothing more seems to be down here. Oh, there's tons of stuff. Yeah, we can. What is this? Oh, where the fuck are you swimming? Let's go back up, up, up. Can you just go up? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, like swimming is very clever, so I do not trust uh, my ability to swim large distances here. Let's just get out, get the hand. And I think we're forced to go out that way anyway. Just because I don't see any other exit down here. There's the arm. Oh god, camera. Oh, can we just take that fucking arm? Jesus. Yeah, navigating underwater is insanely hard. Yeah, now we have a problem. I mean, um, we, we can't really need the diary without it freezing up. So let me see if I can just immediately like open the diary and then exit. All right, let's get out of this cave. Let's dive down and swim swiftly. So we hopefully don't drown down here. Oh, running out of breath. Ah, keep going. some wraith oil, drink some potions. Yeah, so he now says that we probably should prepare a lot for this fight. So even though so even though we might bury her, um, I think we still have to defeat the wraith first and then burn her. Alright, prepare to fight the new wraith and light the fire near the well. Well, let's just um, save here. Okay, um, we should probably meditate for some time because uh, I just, just want to fight her at night. No, till. 10 p.m. Hmm. Huh. All right, so it is night. How can we light the fire here? So something is nearby. Oh, burn the body. Okay. And that should bring the wraith, I guess, back to fight us. And the bracelet. Igni. Just 
still have to defeat the rope to make her go back, or to make it actually go into the hey, other world. I think it worked. have to dodge her attacks, otherwise we won't um, make it long. Alright, so the key was just to trap her. She's gone. For good. Nice, that wasn't too bad. We get a bunch of crafting items out of this. And a Noon Wraith Trophy. Nice, a trophy. Alright, that actually went much better than I expected in the beginning, like when we started. And yeah, I, I thought I'm, I'm gonna die there for sure. But I think it also made a difference that it is indeed night. So she wasn't as strong. So I, I do not know how this fight would have gone. Would she have been, you know, at her full power at noon? All right, let's just keep riding through the wilderness here. Just explore a little bit of what is out here. And then be on our way to... Oh, I remember something was up here. That's it, Roach! That I, I didn't take the first time when we went up to the, to the griffin nest. I forgot what it was. Oh, a beehive, right? For beehives, I can sell two to the herbalist and, and make a bunch of money. So why don't you do that? I think, yeah, I think it was here. Let's just run up here. No, oh, wrong direction. God damn it. Side. All right, let's try this again. Wow, oh, that worked. So I think I can use this one just to toss it off the tree. Nope, oh, don't fall here. It looks very steep. Go pick it up. Got them. Wait, that didn't work. Are you kidding me? Wow. Why the fuck can I not pick it up? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. It says like, you know, pick it up, but it's like, no, I won't let you. You gotta die to the bees. Like, fuck you. Let's eat more meat. Let's just burn them down, holy crap. Can we do that, please? Are they all dead now? Else killed the oh no. So they weren't dead yet, that's why I couldn't um, pick up the beehive. I have to like kill them all, basically, to be able to use Ow! the beehive. And we're halfway dying again by falling off certain cliffs. 
All right. Roach, where yet? Come here. So we can ride off hey to Autolon to get our 23 gold. Hardly worth the effort, but oh well. We were lucky that we fought at night. It wasn't too complicated for us. And while we are around here, I think the herbalist is somewhere. She's somewhere around here, wasn't she? Yeah, she's here. Let's just go to her first and sell her the honeycomb. And then uh, turn in our... Turn in the, the wraith, basically. Get Slow now. All right, is that her house? I think that might be her house. Yes, looks like that is her house. Whoa! Just walk in and see if we can sell it to her. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I. All right, so we have a honeycomb, and you give us 108 gold for everything. Nice not bad farewell all right but now it's time to finish that whole wraith story go go that took quite some you know patience in the recording because um it seems that every time I would open the book or also when I died the game would just hang and stop responding which is very weird. Maybe it had to do with uh, the fact that I was recording. Or maybe not, but now is the time to get our reward from Autolan. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Or well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, Names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a Witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Yes, the sad times of the war that is going on right now. Alright, so we, I think, finished all the side quests here in the first town. All the stuff we did, we've done. So... Let's go over to Vesemir and prepare to leave the White Orchid. I don't think he's far away. He's probably in the bar or in the inn. So let's just go there. And get ready to go after... What's her name? Yes, Jessica? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully we get a bit closer to her this time when we chase after her. Alright, is he playing Quent again? Are you losing money again? No? What's up? Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. Well, let's try. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. 
took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister to the no. birth, and you don't no. fear the gods' wrath. You don't no. fear it, you cunt! No. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back hmm. down now. I can see that. So much for you guys. Well, we tried to stay out of it. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Well, which ride didn't work out. That brawl, we didn't start it. Oh no shit. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Hello. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Romantic. <laughs> Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Hmm. That's a tough choice. <laughs> yeah, suppose I, suppose, suppose I can hear him out, you know, of course. But wonder what he offered you. That that sounds like, you know, talking down. And he mentioned before, you know, they're witchers. They they don't really have a side. 
they're on the side of whoever pays, so... I suppose I can hear him out. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. It's time to say goodbye. But hey, we found Yennefer. Isn't that great? I mean, I guess. We'll see what lies ahead of us when we reach Viva. <laughs> or if we reach Viva. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Hmm. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs> going after us to the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. He's living the good life. I want my baths to be that way. Like, just sit there and be like, oh, don't even have to move. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bench. I choose not at all. <laughs> the what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does, yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes, huh. especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. <laughs> Tilt right. your head back, please, and sit still. Time to get rid of the nice beard. How goes it? 
Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. That's a nice armor he has. He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Hmm. Yeah. Your men died in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you, overly. True. But I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. <laughs> Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Thank you very much that I may dress. He's probably like, damn, so much beer that just shaved someone. I did someone. not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Wow, we're being all fancy. I kind of like my clothes, yeah. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. What are we gonna choose? Um, hmm, yeah, totally that one. I have to take it on too? Alright, alright. Fine. So we're this, this, and that. Uh, I, I kinda like that style. It looks solid. Do we have any gloves too? No. Alright. Guess we're not here to fight. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yes. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> the gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Hmm. I I do not want to bow. But then again, you know, we I guess worked with people like that before, you know, we don't think we are a king or anything, like we know how to bow. We know our place in society. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, wait, wait, what? No, left leg, left leg back, hands to the side. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Wait, oh, leg the extended? The gentleman will rehearse. All right. That's the right hand on chest. 
Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. <laughs> but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. All right, we just learned how to bow correctly. Yes, achievement. The gentleman and luck. will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Yes, and your yes. arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for chess. Take that. How I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, she and with respect. All right, let's talk to thy majesty. In grimi et art cater, daithen aden in carn et marvut, emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et the order. Avelian Namin, vat gern favort. Hello to you as well. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's interesting. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. She looks so, so tell mad. tell me why you were looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Hmm. Well, I am doing it for Siri, but I also need information, not motivation. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. me if the gentleman pleases please keep close there are many honorable guests in the palace all the right so disgusts need not bother all right so we had our audience with the emperor and i guess we have to find siri now but that has to wait for another episode thanks so much for joining me here see you next time